Hi everyone, this is Shannon from Retro Dolls US and today I'm going to give you a quick um, tutorial on how to take apart and, uh, your rerouting tool, how to put a new needle in, how to take it out. Um, I get that question asked most frequently. Please forgive my nails, I bit them off last night <laughs> uh, when the power went out. So, um, but. As you can see, there are several different types of tools. These are all tools I carry in my store. Um, I like to carry a wide variety just to kind of custom, you know, make, make your customizing experience a little bit more personal. Um, most typically, um, my tools are about $13 plus shipping. Um, uh, this one is the Diva Deluxe which costs about 18 but it also comes um, with four needles and this little plastic carrying case um, so and, and it costs a bit more to get to order from my factory so um, but yeah uh, these are typically what I have I have all different colors all different designs um, I have some wooden ones I don't know if I have too many left but those are like um, 11 bucks or something like 11 12 no I think 11 or 10 somewhere around there so they're a couple dollars cheaper than than these but um, not as nice so typically on a tool you can see this is the the rhinestone one we have it in clear blue pink purple gold um, I think that's it red um, so yeah this is a two-sided tool um, you can see one end has like a round hole while the other has more like a, a cross um, or an X so it so it just really depends on the size of needle you use um, I don't carry my needles in sizes typically just because the place it, that I buy them from doesn't have them sized um, but there are shops that do have them sized. Um, I don't sell replacement needles at this time. I don't plan on it, but the shop that does, it's um, called Jersey Tattoos, and I'll link that down below uh, in the description. Her, she used to go by Choose Brains on Etsy, and her needles are amazing. Um, I have rerouted for many, many years. Um, and you know, e even um, doing it for a while, I've, I've broken needles, but since using hers, one of them has lasted me three years. So I highly suggest if you have to get replacement needles, you go through her shop. Um, now, to put a needle in your tool, all you have to do is see this, this part right here is you just twist it and see how it comes open there. And then you take your needle, see, like that, and you just put it in there and kind of hold it in place and then you twist it shut till it's very tight, as, as tight as you can get it, okay? So it doesn't move around while it's in the tool. And that's all you really have to do to put your needle in the tool. And then when you want to take it out, you just and you know if, if you see it like go into your tool don't freak out because all you have to do is just like loosen it up and it'll come out so this one doesn't want to, it, it will come out but okay there you go so yeah um, now if this comes completely off don't freak out um, this is what it looks like and you can see it's just it's it's like a screwdriver okay so what you want to do is you make sure um, it goes, yeah it goes like that so it's got a little ridge right there so that should go up at the top and then you just screw it back shut and you replace your needle um, the side with the hole exact same thing um, 
You just twist it open and the hole opens wider. You take your tool, or your tool, your needle. Sorry, this is so shaky. Um, I wasn't holding it tight. I didn't screw it tight enough, so. So see, just like that. So it just depends on, you know, what end you wanna use, what size your needle is. Um, and sometimes these do wear out, so you can always switch to the other side for these two. This is a double-sided one. Um, the most common one that's purchased usually is a skinny tool, um, simply because I've had, I think because I've had a lot of these um, in stock. But these can be a little trickier to, to get the hole open because you can see it's I'm twisting it but it's only getting the bottom part but you just kind of want to hold on to the top and like twist like that so it opens the top area um, so it can be a little bit trickier um, but you know it's it's still pretty easy to use and this is just another this is a a, a cross cross one um, now the gold diva now all these tools uh, the individual tools that are sold in my shop um, come with one needle only um, sometimes if if I cut a needle and I don't I'm not quite too happy with it um, I will include an extra needle and you can you just have that one for practice um, or like a spare in case of emergencies um, so occasionally you might find more than one needle in your package for a single tool and that's usually why so this one is the diva tool this one's probably going to be uh, marked down because as you can see the bottom um one it, it got knocked to the floor and my dog stepped on it so yeah sorry about that but it's it's going to be discounted but it'll still have it, it has the four needles it has a plastic carrying case let um, me take it out and you just take that out and see it's got the nice shiny uh, fake diamond at the top and it's got a round hole now I don't know if this one some of them in the middle like this I don't think uh, well not this one but some of these tools in the middle will have like a silver thing and it's it's basically what it is is it carries the other part um, inside it that like so say this this one is an X1 and this will be marked down too because it's got a little rust stain on it but um normally that doesn't happen either but um but anyways um if it comes with an X1 and it's got a, a part in the middle you can unscrew it usually has the round part on the inside um obviously don't try too hard to like if it's not twisting don't it's probably not a twistable one you just email me and ask me because um, you don't want to break your tool but they're pretty sturdy so I don't, I don't think they're gonna go anywhere but yeah this is the same thing twists open you put in your needle you twist it closed um, personally I like the thicker ones um, because it gives you a better grip um, and it's easier on the hands uh, when you're rerouting for a long time uh, the other ones work just as nice um, I'll use the skinnier ones for like smaller projects um, or you know I mean it's always nice to have around I always like to have like two or three um, rerouting tools around because I have a tendency to stick things where I can't find them um, but yeah so that's the uh, the tutorial and my bulldog is barking so I'm gonna end it um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you like the video, please thumb, thumb it up and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Love ya. Bye.